In Parashat Beha Bechukotai, there is a very famous verse. This is in Leviticus 25, verse 10. The verse goes like this, Proclaim liberty throughout the land and to all its inhabitants thereof. If you happen to go to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and you happen to go to Liberty Bell Center, you will find this very verse on that bell. Of course, the bell is also known for the large crack inside, and thousands of people go every day to visit this bell. These two facts, this, this verse from our parasha and the crack, relate to us in this very time of a pandemic because many people in the world may be experiencing a crack inside of themselves because of the situation of confinement and suffering, loss of work, of income, so on and so forth. So the idea is what to do with the situation, with this crack that we may be experiencing just like the bell. Well, let's see a little bit also what happened this week. This week, we also had Lagba Omer, which commemorates, among other things, the passing of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. You see, that was more than 2,000 years ago, during the Roman occupation of the Holy Land. And Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai defied the orders of the Romans, and he was teaching Torah. Therefore, in order to save his life, he needed to go into hiding. He confined himself with his son Elazar in a cave. For 12 years, they were confined in a cave, drinking water from a spring in the cave and eating from a carrot tree that was growing. They prayed all day long and they studied. They were given the secrets of the Zohar of Jewish mysticism during this time. At the end of 12 years, there is a voice in the cave that said, Rabbi Shimon, you may come out. The Caesar is dead. Your life is no longer in danger. You can come out of the cave. He comes out with his son. They were not ready, absolutely not ready. The light that they had created was staying inside, was not going through the crack that they had. So they go back in the cave for one more year. And after that year, they emerge from the cave on a Friday afternoon. And they see someone, they see this guy walking with two bundles of flowers. And so Rabbi Shimon asks, what are you doing? And he says, well, it's Shabbat, I'm getting ready for Shabbat. He says, why do you have two bundles of flowers? He says, well, that's because of Shamor and Zachor which are the two aspects of Shabbat observance that are mentioned in the Ten Commandments. Shamor is to keep Shabbat, and Zachor is to remember Shabbat. Two bundles of flowers for that. And he, Rabbi Shimon, realized the power and the beauty and the elevation of the observance of mitzvot by a human being. He saw how the mundane, mundane could be elevated to something so beautiful and so holy. And so you see, all the light contained inside of him was able to flood out. And the light of the, wor of the world was able to come in through that crack that had been created in him. So you see, that crack that we have may be the way to let the light in, to bring the healing in, and to bring the healing out. This week I received a beautiful message, and it goes like this, I would like to share it with you. I pray that the next time a friend grabs me and pulls me in for a hug, I actually take the time to appreciate the gift of their embrace. I pray that the next time I'm sitting in a crowded restaurant, I take the time to look around at the smiling faces, loud, voice, loud voices, and thank God for the gift of community. I pray that the next time I see a person or a situation that needs prayer, I hope I pray as passionately and fervently as I have these past few weeks.
I pray that when I am at the grocery store, that I take a moment to thank God that he provides us with the necessities of life and the amazing people who work so hard to keep us supplied. I pray that I never again take for granted the ability to hop in the car and visit friends and family, go to the mall. You see, we may have a crack, but it is a very holy crack. This Shabbat, let's take the time to take this Shabbat light and let it in and let the healing work. And may this light that we have inside, this healing light, be spread also into the world. I wish you Shabbat Shalom.